So welcome and hello to the second lesson of our Python learning. So right now we are going to explore something inside the PyCharm and also the other thing. So we will just print something to our console, to our terminal. So first of all, whenever you open your PyCharm, you will have like welcome to PyCharm window. And here you can customize your PyCharm. Here at the customized, you can choose the color of the theme. I'm using the dark, like there is light, you can use more of them in that version, don't worry. The second thing is accessibility. It's the font of the text that you are going to write. I'm using bigger font because whenever I just show you guys here on YouTube or another platform, it's easier for you to just get through all of the information that I can provide you, of course. The next thing that we've got here are plugins. Eventually, whenever we are learning something in the PyCharm, we don't need right now any of that plugin because everything will work without it right away. Of course, there are some kind of interactive courses like we can just enable some access, learn to program, to be honest, I've never just used it, but you can check how to get through all of it. Of course, there's a PyCharm on YouTube where you can get more information about that PyCharm. Okay, going back to our projects, we are going to create a new project. So new project and here we'll name it like print action. So give me a few seconds, print action okay so we've got it over there that's the location of our file where our PyCharm will save our file and of course our base interpreter that's why i told you to download and install python because it's our interpreter that we are going to use to interpret to let our application run as it should so in my case is python 3.12 and the next thing we don't need in here global site packages make available to all projects right now we are not going to get there that's previously configured interpreter whenever you configure the previous one but it's not the case that we are going to handle right now and screen a uh, main.py welcome script we don't need it but in that case i will show you what you achieve whenever you will have that main.py because don't worry whenever you got it ticked nothing wrong happened it will work as it should of course you've got some of the environment here usually we are going to use virtual env it's a virtual environment why it's quite important in and handy because first thing whenever we are installing the packages we only install in the virtual environment. We are not going to install to the whole computer, so whole system. So it's very crucial to remember that thing and stay with that virtual EMD. Okay. So whenever we've got everything, click on create. Wait a few seconds. Whenever it's going to create our in virtual environment, it can last a few seconds. We can make it bigger and we are inside our product. Okay. So here is the main PY file. That is quite more complicated to you because it's a function which print high message in that manner. And whenever we get the main action, main file run, it will just create the print high with PyCharm and it will be high part PyCharm. Whenever we click it, as you can see, it's high PyCharm. But don't worry, we are here to learn something. So we will just delete everything over there and start to create something in our manner. So first of all, what we are going to have is the print command. And with that print, we can print some values we can 
print values like whole integer. We can also print some floating numbers. And also we can create the, some kind of string items, things. So, okay, right now we are going to run. And as you can see, it show us two because we print over the number two, 2.5. So we've got also 2.5 and we just print the text, not the number as previous one with string and it also work as it should. Here we are going later on to get more information about that things. Okay, whenever we are going to learn more about that numbers, we can cry, create a comment and with hashtag, you can create and write down whatever, whatever you would like to write. And with that, whenever I press run, it works without any issues. And right now, I will briefly introduce you to the things that we have in the print statement. Because print is the instruction to print our things into the console. That's our console inside the Python. And it's the thing where in the very beginning things, the magic will happen. And you can do a lot of things with the console slash terminal. Because here on the terminal, we can also write and get fire dot mine py file. Okay, so going back to our two. Two is a whole number. It's called integer. And the second thing that we've got is 2.5. And it's floating number, and so it's called float, float. And the last thing is a string, as you can see, but it's a text. So our string is a string. Why we need it with the brackets, with the So why we need it and the quotes, so double quotes more. We need it because it's a text. We are not going to have any operations like there because whenever we are adding there to, we'll learn more about adding, multiplying and other operations that we can do with numbers later on. But here we can add to, but here whenever we we'll add to, we'll have the type error because the string plus two cannot be concatenated. So we cannot add them because it's the wrong value. Whenever we would like to add that two things, it also will work only with the same type of data. And with that data cases, how the data will work and for very beginning, we'll start in the next lesson.